Number 80. What value of inductance should be used if a 20 kilo ohm reactance is needed at a frequency of 500 hertz? Okay, so anytime they're talking about inductance and then they're telling you about the reactance, they really mean the inductive reactance. In other words, the reactance is the variable x. Inductive reactance then is x sub l. All right. So what we need to do is we need to find the value of the inductance. Remember, inductance has the variable letter l. We know the reactance x sub l and we know the frequency f. So we're going to use the formula over here. This says that the inductive reactant, reactance is a function of 2 pi multiplied by the frequency multiplied then by the inductance. So to find this inductance, I have to divide this whole thing on out. So look, it's this straightforward. Isn't this nice? Right? If only all the physics problems could be like this. So we, the inductive reactance here is a, a unit in ohms. They gave it to us in kilo ohms, so just multiply that by 10 to the third. Then divide that by 2 pi now by the frequency. It's in hertz, so that's fine. No th nothing to change. Remember, that's basically cycles per second. And then we just have to now divide. So this is going to be 20 times 10 to the third divided by now parentheses 2 pi times then 500. And this works out to be a value of about 6.37, and that is in Henry. All right, though, that's the unit of uh, inductance. And there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Check out some more of the videos if you need any help. Additionally, if you're taking chem or pre-calculus at the same time, we're doing uh, the problems from the OpenStax book. So even if you're not doing OpenStax, download it. It's free. I'm sure you can find very similar problems, if not almost identical problems, uh, to the ones you might be having. All right. So thank you, and we'll see you soon.